Hello everybody, welcome to the latest episode of Soundscape and today we have somebody to add to the list of rappers we've had on the show this year. We've got Yakil here with us. Welcome to the show, Yakil. Yeah. It's a pleasure having you here. Thank you. So let's hear it, you know. How did the rap bug bite you? How did you get on to where you are now? Well, I always like to listen to different kind of music, so... Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, since I was a child, I, I always like to listen to different kind of music. That's why I came into rap. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. Then when I grew up, I eventually started listening to rap music, like artists like Eminem, Tupac, uh -huh. Shakur. And then I figured out uh, something like I wanted to be a rapper, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, because I know how to do it. Because mm -hmm. I've been listening for uh, so, um, so too long, and I figure out the basics of rap. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and you had something you tend to tell the world yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. very interesting. So yeah. you listen to the end of the '90s, you know, the rappers from that the time. Yeah, from the '90s, like Tupac Shakur, Biggie, Small, uh, like Eminem, uh -huh. Easy, Easy, -E. yeah, gangster rap. <laughs> yeah, gangster rap. Very interesting to know yeah. that somebody from here being inspired by the music yeah. of the West Coast of the USA. Yeah. All right. So, and uh, I, I presume you were following the lyrics, and you know, you were writing your own rhymes. Yeah, I write my own, our own rhymes. Mm -hmm. So, at what point did you take this seriously into a performance level? Like since uh, 2016. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's when I, yeah, when we had a lot of opportunities for rappers in Kerala. Because when I started rapping first time, there was no a big opportunities opportunities for rappers. You know. Mm -hmm. I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Did you manage to find other similar-minded people? Yeah, a lot of people, yeah, a lot of them. Very interesting. Especially in Trivandrum, yeah. Mm -hmm. I made a song like a few months ago, like two mm -hmm. or three months, and I made a uh, video to it. Uh -huh, very good. Yeah, and I was trying to tell, a, uh, tell my story to the people who are listening to it. Uh -huh. How about you, you know, know a few lines right now? Yeah, of us? course. Uh, the first verse goes like this. It's like, mm, Gia, uh, Gotta make it in the left, then I live in in. Got a girl and a fam and couple of friends. Not to mention the head is, but it's all good. I'm just trying to get famous and get out of the hood. My name on the internet and people wanna chat, acting like the K, but then I don't rhyme and I don't rap. But it's all good, baby. When I came back, they be calling me Jesus like I can't die. Yeah, Kel, what is the main thing that you are trying to convey with the audience through your lyrics? Well, um, I just want everybody in Kerala to love hip hop, you know, mm -hmm. because hip hop is growing. Yes, indeed. You know, yeah, hip hop is growing in India, especially in South Side. And I want uh, all Indians to know that, uh, you know, we have people who know how to rap. And we do just as good as the people who, who does it in America or Africa or any other country in the world, you know. So I want people to know that. And I want more people to come into hip hop and make music, you know, and have fun. And that's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And uh, do you have an easy time finding other rappers here in Kerala? We've had a few on the show, but, yeah. you know, I haven't really met too many on the streets. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. uh. do you have something like a club or some sort of gathering, online platforms where you yeah, usually nah. meet these guys? Nothing like that. We had our online groups, mm -hmm. so many groups from in WhatsApp and everywhere. There's a lot of, ra lot of rappers actually. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of them don't do songs every day or every month. Uh -huh. Yeah, but there is a lot of talented rappers. Certainly, yes, yes. Yeah. We had somebody like uh, Rax Radiant on the show and yeah. a few other names. He's my friend, <laughs> actually. Uh -huh. Hey. <laughs> yeah, hello, Rax. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Kil, uh, something I asked another rapper on the show before. So, yeah. does it, you know, is it handy to have a musical education when you turn out, you know, when you go the rapper's way and you want to be a rapper? To make rap music? Uh -huh. uh, no, I don't think so because I can't sing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I never learned to sing from anywhere. And rap is rhythm and poetry, and you don't need to learn how to sing or anything. But if you know how to sing, it's cool. So you can sing your own hooks on your own songs. So you don't need the help of any other singers. But to be a rapper, you don't need any musical education. You just have to have the passion. You know, that's it. I'm sure that was very insightful for all the aspiring rappers watching the show now. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so moving on. Now, do you have any. Uh, projects for the future in terms of touring or records? Yeah, I got a lot in mind. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of new projects are coming and I'm still writing and a lot of Malayalam raps are also coming. Uh -huh. You know, yeah, I'm focusing more on Malayalam these days because Malu rappers are getting more yeah. fame in Kerala. The yeah. scene is breaking, you know, like break, yeah. breaking out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Kel, do you have any words of wisdom for aspirant rappers out there? Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, there are so many p kids who love rapping and they wanted to be rappers. And I just want to say that don't stop rapping. You know, when you make your first song, it is going to suck. It is going to sound horrible, but <laughs> just don't stop. Trust me, it is going to suck. My first song was horrible. 
yeah <laughs> and uh, don't ever think that one song is going to make you a celebrity or something you know you got to make at least a uh, hundred songs to be an average rapper so just don't stop keep writing keep writing anything that you have in your mind and just keep recording and never stop that you know rap every single day write every single day no, that's all i got to say <laughs> if that doesn't is fine you want nothing else will i'm sure uh, <laughs> the harsh truth right there yeah. uh Uh, this is my favorite Indian rapper. He's mm -hmm. probably one of the best Indian rapper in my opinion. Uh, he he looks a little bit like me. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, my friends used to say that, but I don't know. I, I was never trying to copy him or anything. Uh -huh. uh, his name is Brother V, and uh, one of my one of my favorite song of Brother V is called Let Him Talk. Uh -huh. Yeah, Let Him Talk by Let Brother. I came like a beast, and nobody sicker than me when I speak. All speak the truth. My mission to be the good man, sick of the hood man, spitting for the food man. I eat rappers. I keep a snap back in my backpack. If I'm in a 10 gear, I will stack that spit in rhymes like a bullet in a fast rap. And I'm mad that all this rapping thing I'm back when I spit the mad facts. Follow me down to science. Let me say that I'm the best. If you're hearing other dudes, you're settling for less. The fire bill is coming to choke your neck. If you're trying to beat me, will I fall? Hell no, nigga, farewell. <laughs> All right, that was incredible. <laughs> so we're at the end of this incredible episode, and it was such a pleasure talking to you. Yeah, yeah. I wish thank, you all the best. Thank you for having me. You're such a pleasure. Yeah, you know, we're just getting the new frontier out here. Yeah, the rapper is a scene in Kerala. Mm -hmm. you know, we're just trying to get the audience to know about this thing. Mm -hmm. All right, so all the best again. Thank you. Thank you. So that's it for me this week. Catch me on the next week's episode. It's Tata till then.